Hi P4, welcome again to this another video of our math for class. Let's continue our lesson for chapter 7, area and perimeter. So in this video, you will learn lesson 3 using grids and rules to measure area and perimeter. You can use ruler for this or any kind of rules. Then lesson four, estimate the area of irregular shapes. Okay, are you ready to learn P4? Come on, let's start. Let's start first with lesson C or lesson three. We have using grids and rules to measure area and perimeter. Okay, take a look here. Ron wants to find the area and perimeter of a rectangular piece of cloth. He puts it on a square grid. How can he find the area and perimeter? Okay, do you know how to find the area and perimeter of these children? So remember that when we say perimeter, we just simply count the total distance around. So you are going to find the length, how long, and the width. Okay, then after that, you, you are just simply add. Okay, so children, find uh, how how long is this for the perimeter, or you can you can simply count the square, right? Remember, one square is one centimeter. So, do you think how long is this? If we are going to count, how long is the is the the length and the width? Now, for the area, simply count. How many squares it cover here in our grid? For sure, it's easy for you to find the area. So I will wait for your answers during our class. Okay. Now, how can Ron find the area of this plot without a grid? Okay. Let's say this one without grid squares at the back of this picture. How he will find the area and the perimeter? Okay, you can use matchstick to help you form an outline around the cloth. Okay, so you can have any other ways to find the area of this cloth. Okay, before. Okay, I have here another problem. Let's find the area of Mira's badge. Okay, Mira wants to find the area of her rectangular school badge. She draws the shape of the bed on a square grid. Okay, take a look. So, what is the air, what is the length of it, of this full bed? So, this is four centimeters length, and the width is two centimeters. Okay. So, to find the area of this bed. You draw the length of the square, so on the square grid, so this is 4, right? Then the length of the rectangle is 4, so we can count 4 squares on the grid. After that is the, we can draw the width, so on the width, okay? Then we can count 2 squares. Next, after that, a rect remember that a rectangle, this is a rectangle, right? Remember that a rectangle has equal sides, the pairs of equal sides. Opposite sides are equal. So if this is 4 here, at the bottom is also 4. If this is 2 here, here also is 2. So it looks like this, okay? So it is now a complete rectangle. Okay, now the area of 1 square centimeter is 1 square centimeter. If this is one centimeter, this is one centimeter, therefore the area of one square is one square centimeter. So if we will count how many squares we have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the area of the rectangle is eight square centimeters. So the area of mirror's badge is eight square centimeters so this is how to find the area using grid okay next sita's method of finding the area of Me mira's bed so sita has another way to find the area 
it may be not using a grid. Take a look. Mira's friends, Sita and Nora, use other methods to find the area of the bed. Okay. Theta's method. There are two rows of squares, right? Row row one. Row two. So two rows. Each row has how many squares? Four, right? One, two, three, four. So Sita simply multiply the two rows by four squares and she got eight. Eight square centimeters. So she just simply multiply the two rows of four. So she got eight square centimeters. So this is the other way of finding the area. Epic note. Okay, now, how about Nora's method of finding Mer the area of Mera's badge? So, she just simply find the length of the rectangle, which is 4, right? The length is 4 centimeters. The width is 2 centimeters. What does she uh, do? She multiply the length and the width. So, 4 centimeters times 2 centimeters will give 8 centimeters. So, we can actually find the area of rectangle by multiplying its length and width. Okay, so area of rectangle is length times width. Okay, before, so that's the simplest way. If you don't have square grid, if you have a ruler, you just simply measure the length of the rectangle measure the width and multiply take a look the unit square centimeter if you are using centimeter but if you are using meter you will use m and small to here that is square meter so that's how to write the unit of measurement for area okay let's move Okay, now, how about if we are going to find the area of a square? Earlier is a rectangle, now it's a square. Tom has a square plot of land. Each side of the plot is 3 kilometers long. So what is the area of the plot of land? Take a look, what is the area of this? We remember that a square, all sides are equal, okay? So, area of square plot of land is length times length. So, just like in rectangle, because rectangle, we have the longer side, length and width, we multiply. In square, we just simply multiply length times length or side times side because the size of squares are equal. So, 3 times 3 is 9. So, the area of this square plot is nine square kilometers so children take a look now with our unit we are using kilometers so we can find the area of a square by multiplying its length by itself so if the side or the length is five you just, you just simply multiply five times five if the length is ten ten times ten that is four square Okay, so the area of the plot of land is 9 square kilometers. So you read this one, remember, this is square kilometers. Okay. How about if we are going to find the perimeter of a rectangular notepad? Sam has a rectangular notepad. He measures the length and the width of the notepad. What is the perimeter of the notepad? Take a look. So the opposite sides of a rectangle, remember, are equal. To find its perimeter, we simply add all the lengths of all the sides. So we simply add 5 centimeters plus 3. Then this missing one is 5. 
then the other one is 3 so the total is 16 square centimeters so the perimeter of this notepad is 16 centimeters children take note the units of measurement for perimeter simply like this centimeters we will not put two on the right side okay next let's move on to lesson d estimating the area of irregular shapes irregular shapes are like this take a look on this picture okay let's have this one first Ralph draws a square on a square grid how can he find the area of the square Okay, take a look. Do you remember again how to find the area of a square? Yes, side times side or length times length. Since one this square is 1 cm, therefore this is 1, 2. This is 2 cm. The side is 2 cm, so the area is multiplying only 2 times 2. So the area of the square is 4, correct, 4 square centimeters. Now, it is easy, children, to find the area if our shape are regular, just like square and rectangle. Now, how about this kind of shape, the rubber band? The rubber band is an irregular shape. How to find the area of this? So, Ralph puts a rubber band on a 1 cm square grid. Try to observe how to find the area, okay? If you know, you can share that during our class, okay? Now, I will give you an example on how to find the area of irregular. Take a look at this. Sandy draws the top of her desk on a 1 meter square grid. What is the area of the top of her desk? There are how many whole squares? Let's count. Is it really 12? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Correct. So there are 12 whole squares. They are, we have also here part squares. Part squares are not complete or whole squares. How many? Two. This one. Okay, so two. So we just simply add the 12 and 2 and that is 14. So the area of the desk is about, when we see about, it means estimated or near to 14 square meters. So this is not the exact because our shape is an irregular. Okay, next. So count, if you are going to find the area of, a, of an irregular shape, you can count first the whole squares and the part squares and you are going to add them all together okay i have another problem okay i have here a leaf i wants to know the area of a leaf he puts the leaf on a one square one centimeter square grid and traces around it help guy estimate the area of the leaf so again remember we are only estimating for irregular this is not an exact area of the leaf Step one, you simply count all the whole squares and parts that are more than half. Remember, more than half squares. If we count this all together, we have 13. This one is not included because this is not more than half. This one also. So we only count here the whole squares and more than half. So there are 13. Next, look for the part square that make one that will make about one whole square example this if we have two if we put them together it can make one square right so that that is counted as one square the two next estimate the area of the remaining part squares they make about three squares okay how about this one this is another one right this one also you can have this one also as one, this, this one. Okay, so there are three more squares and one, so there are four more. So our total now is 13, the whole squares and the area that are part squares that can make about 
Four squares are four. So this one, this is one. This is two. And we have this is three. This one and this one. This because this is all they are bigger one. Okay, or this one also. So we have only around four whole squares. Then so we have we add 13 plus 4. So there are there is 17 squares. So this is only about children, yeah, about 17 squares. So the area of this leaf is 17 square centimeters. So we cannot really actually find the actual or the exact for irregular shapes like this. And this is only the technique on how to find the estimated area of an irregular shape, okay? Okay, P4, that's all about lesson 3, using grids and rules to measure area and perimeter. And also lesson 4, estimating the area of a regular shape. So, I hope before that you learned a lot in this video. I will discuss more about this lesson during our class. Thank you for watching everyone and enjoy the rest of the day.